In these installations, the panel cover is used as a shock mount. This allows the set to be installed or removed simply by fastening or unfastening the straps. Now let's examine the set itself more closely. Well-designed panel guards protect the controls and front panels of the transmitter and receiver when the cover is removed. This prevents damage to the controls in case the set is tipped over or bumped. The guards are so placed that they won't interfere with the operation of any of the controls. Transmitter or receiver guard may be easily removed by loosening four screws. To make the set waterproof, both the receiver and transmitter units are mounted in their case on neoprene gaskets and are held there by eight snap fasteners. Loosening four of the fasteners allows either the transmitter or receiver to be instantly removed from the case. This makes it easy to replace tubes and parts quickly. When a unit is removed, antenna, relay, side tone, power and ground connections between units are broken automatically. All controls are packed to prevent the entrance of moisture. The heavy waterproof power cable is provided with specially designed connectors. Receptacles are also of improved design. The construction of the power connectors and receptacles reduce the chance of insulation breakdown between contacts and are quite an improvement over the old type. The transmitter uses a four-tube circuit of exceptional stability. A three-position switch selects master oscillator frequency control or either of two crystal-controlled channels. Crystals are quickly changed by loosening one screw on the front panel and crystal frequencies may be recorded on a chart attached to the crystal cover. A calibration chart for MO control is attached to the front of the transmitter. A 200 kilocycle crystal in the receiver enables the operator to check and correct the transmitter frequency when MO control is used. The variable tuning capacitor assembly is precision built and is comparable in accuracy to the capacitor used in the famous SCR211 frequency meter set. A single dial sets the transmitter frequency and a special spring lock prevents the dial from being accidentally knocked or jarred off frequency. When necessary, the dial lamp may be lighted by pressing a push button. All switches are made without stops and can be rotated 360 degrees. This prevents damaging the switch by forcing it against the stop. A neon tuning indicator is used to show resonance in the antenna circuit. The brilliance of the indicator is regulated by means of an adjustable Polaroid window. This enables the operator, for the sake of security, to reduce the amount of light visible during night operations. Tuning of the antenna circuit is accomplished by a movable iron core, which varies the inductance of the antenna tuning coil. One revolution of the antenna tuning control completely tunes from minimum to maximum value. Now let's take a look at the receiver. To get it out of the case, the four clamps are loosened. The tubes of the receiver are protected by a one-piece metal shield, easily removed by releasing two spring clips. 
The receiver circuit is a six-tube superheterodyne using miniature tubes. A three-position sensitivity control adjustable to high, medium, or low can be varied to suit the incoming signal. Using the high position of the sensitivity control, phone or CW signals of less than five microvolts can be satisfactorily received. Using reduced sensitivity prevents blocking and eliminates weaker interfering signals. A special spring lock on the tuning control holds the dial in its tuned position when the set is subject to excessive jarring. A tapped output transformer accommodates high or low impedance phones. It incorporates a screwdriver operated switch that permits selection of the desired output impedance. The receiver can be operated from a battery carried in the same bag as the set. This battery will give about 20 hours of continuous service. 